So here we are at the Dusseldorf Boat Show, celebrating 60 years of Dufour and the launch of the new Dufour 44. One of the, uh, the big things that you'll appreciate when you look at the hull is the, the form of the hull, the shape of the hull, uh, and the extended hull chines that you get now in these modern boats. So primarily all there to give stability to the boat. So working in conjunction with the keel, uh, keeping the boat upright, sailing the boat flatter. So these boats sail around at uh, 18 degrees uh, typically. So nice and flat, um, performance orientated, makes the boat more comfortable, uh, easy to handle the sails. So yeah, really, really important to understand the shape of the hull and the effect that that has on, on the sailing abilities. But then also what you find is that down below you get greater volume inside the boat for, for all the accommodation spaces, which we will look at shortly. As we look around the Dufour 44, um, typically what you find is with all Dufours, you've got the barbecue plancher at the back of the boat, which we'll just open up now. So a great area for cooking on board, entertaining. You've got a large cockpit table there with the leaves that open up, so you can sit six to eight people easily. Two access points onto the, into the cockpit, so you've got on the starboard side, you've got the steps there. There's uh, gas bottle storage in that locker. You've got throttle control. And then underneath at each helm, you've got little storage areas for your ropes. And on the starboard side is, is where you plug in your shore power. And then port side, and this central locker just gives you access into, into a large area underneath the cockpit floor. So great for storing things. You can fit a generator, air conditioning units. So on the 44, you've got a wider, wider bathing platform. Then we can see on the 41 and the 37, um, you've got a life raft storage area there. It's a manual platform, so you pull it up using these ropes and pulley system. Twin helms, you've got B&G equipment which is factory fitted um, or we can do Raymarine if you want to fit Raymarine here in, in the UK with us. Then as we walk around the cockpit you get three versions with the Do4 uh, 44. You've got the easy version, the ocean version and the performance version. So this is the ocean version. So you get extra winches so you've got three winches either side so you've got the companionway winches for hoisting and lowering the sails and, uh, and doing all the reefing lines then you've got the aft winches for genoa control main sheet control and also controlling code zero asymmetric sails and then what's really nice is, is walking out onto the side deck so you've got this step so you're not affecting people that are sitting in the in the cockpit area. So again, really easy to, to move around the side decks. Nice and wide. Standard boat comes with self-tacking jib, but you can opt to have uh, overlapping head saws, so 108% overlapping head saw. So again, not a massive sail, so it makes it really easy to, uh, to tack the boat. And on these boats now, we've moved the position of the Genoa track up onto the coach roof. So again, keeping the, the side decks nice and clear. On this boat, you can see we've got uh, natural wood deck. You can have synthetic teak if you wish, or, or just leave it uh, plain, plain white non-slip tread. Lots of deck hatches, lots of light. You can see the self-tacking jib there. The other thing you'll notice as we're at the mast is the position of the gooseneck. So you've got, we position the gooseneck nice and low down so that you can reach the, the head of the sail easily to attach the mainsail. So if you don't want to go for in-mast furling, we make it as easy as possible to control the mainsail when hoisting and, uh, and reefing, etc. So as we go forward, you've got this area, we've got a, a deck area, a, sorry, a deck uh, locker here, which we can just open. So again, and that gives you access through that hatch into the anchor locker. But again, really useful storage area for putting sails, dinghy, paddle boards, whatever else you want to take.
So again, really big key feature of this boat is, is the light and the air, and then the space that you've got in the cockpit area. So here we are down below on the Du 444. And you can immediately see the benefits of the, the hull design and the effects that has on the interior volume. So this boat is the three cabin layout with a forward galley. So you can have a side galley also um, like the 41, which runs down the starboard side. But with the split forward galley, you get the extra seating and just a really great large space around the, the saloon area. You've got sink over on the port side. And then cooker and fridge to starboard. You've got a great table area, so easily seat six and uh, eight of the push. And then you've got the stalls which move around and then they all get stowed down on the starboard side into this space here. Securely saved for sea and, and also to make it just a larger seat. You've got a little uh, pop-up table there for a, a laptop. And, and then the navigation area where you've got VHF, radio and the instrument panel. So as I say, this is the three cabin two heads and a shower room. So always uh, now on these uh, newer Dufours, you've got the option to swap out the port head space into, into either a full, full heads or as we've got in this case, the shower room. So you've got a great large, uh, large shower room area there. Or you could just have it as storage. So there is a, a, you can have it as a dedicated storage area. And then on the starboard side, you've got the full heads. Again, one thing you'll also notice in the heads and the aft cabins and the saloon are all of these hull windows below the deck level, which are fantastic for really connecting yourself with, with the, the outside when you're, you're sat down below. And you can see those all the way around. into the aft cabin here. So this is the, uh, the port aft cabin. Great hanging locker space, storage. And then you go into the starboard aft cabin. Again, mirror image. And again, you can see those hull windows there to let in lots of uh, natural light. And then you've got opening windows above for, for fresh air. And then as we go into the forward cabin, this is where you really get the true feeling of volume and size to be able to have this master cabin forward. 44 foot yacht is, uh, is quite incredible. Lots of storage, lots of hanging space, again the hull windows, lots of natural light coming through. And then port side, you've got the heads. And then on the starboard side, you've just got a massive shower room. As we look back into the saloon, that is the Do 444.